Another episode of Crash Landing. My name is Ryla, and over there we have Justar. Hello. Hello. And we are conquering this planet. Woohoo! Totally owning it. I Haven't died it. recently or anything. I know, that's amazing. <laughs> it's like, just very lucky, I suppose, because it's definitely not skill. <laughs> so we it's, are going to. Oh, I'm sorry? It is on my part. Oh, yeah, it's delusion oh. on your part. <laughs> that's what it is. I say anyway. Delusional. You know it. Uh 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 uh. It's my my delusional dance. Dance de delusion. Did you just jump over me? More of a through. More of a through. Okay. Anyway, we are continuing in some of our quests. We're making some nice progress, I think. Especially in the basic survival. I think we should be coming pretty close to finishing it off. Because I've got two quests I'll be able to turn in, and I think you said you had. Half a one. I've got I've got half of ramping up. I can I can make the dynamo. The react is we need a reactant dynamo and a grinder. The reactant dynamo we've got everything we need. The grinder we need a bunch of invar for. And I just looked in the sifter. We have we have sixteen broken nickel ore. Mm -hmm. So I can make I can make four nickel ore gravel. So I may be able to get enough out of that to make enough invar. Which would be awesome. Yeah, I think that'll I think that'll get us twelve in bar, which might be exactly enough. Oh, that would be awesome yeah, if that I, ends I up being like the case. I'll have to I'll have to experiment with that. But first, I'm gonna go make a reactive dynamo. Okay. Because <laughs> I just got done making all the bronze for it. Do you wanna Do you wanna show off the, the stuff you can turn in? You want me to show my stuff? I can turn sure. in. Okay. Yeah. So the first thing I can turn in actually on getting chilly is. Uh, this guy here, water on its own cools you by certain degrees, blah, 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 all kinds of stuff. Um, but we can turn in a leadstone flux capacitor and four water bottles, which, if you will notice, I have in my inventory. Uh-huh. Didn't even have to make this leadstone flux capacitor. It's just one we had sitting around. So, hey. Woot. Woot. So manual submit. We can claim that reward. So we get snow, which will help us make a glacial precipitator later. Nice. Yeah, two snow, two iron, or eight iron. Actually, which is very nice. Mm -hmm. well, I don't know about very, but it's quite nice. And then the next one is the Power Underwhelming, which I love the name, which is Ender Generator. It uses Ender Pearls to create, I guess, energy, which I don't think we plan on making because we used up all our Ender Pearls to create this. So <laughs> there's the recipe for that real quick. I have all the items again. We just need to make this, what is it called? PRC? LX100 Logic Expansion Card, which is just a printed circuit board. There's the recipe right there. I have it all set up, so I can just go like that. Oh, I almost snagged it before you. Yeah, yeah, no, sorry. <laughs> Too slow, senor. And then we just, if I could properly set it up like that, and then like that, and wah! Ah! I don't know if you were going to try taking it or not, so I was quick. No, I'm not going to steal your thunder. It was super not quick. that it ever rains on this planet that you crashed us on. Hey, there is, number one, you crashed. And number two, there is a single block that is in the plains in which it rains. So if you really want rain, just go stand there and look up and just wait. Preferably with your mouth open, you know, just kind of... <laughs> See if you can catch any. It's not plains for me, otherwise I'd show people where it is. But it's plains for just star. It rains in that one little spot for them. Which is pretty hilarious. Yeah, that is pretty funny. So I we just needed to craft it. We didn't even need to turn it in, so it's ready to claim. Cool. And we get some hardened energy conduit, which I guess is nice, and two yeah. ender pearls. Sweet, which gets us a little back towards our stock that we had. Yeah, we had five total and now we have four. So There we go. And I am actually not really planning on doing anything with them, so I'm just going to put the ender generator into this chest here with all our odds and ends in it. Yeah. So, I don't know, unless you really want to burn ender pearls for some reason. Not right now, but when we get to the point of having the grinder, we may get, we may get a fair number. That's true. Because with the grinder, it doesn't matter if what kind of creature they are, just as long as they all die. Yes, we want, we want all the things to die. 
Death to all So if you want to look at the crafting station, okay. I'm going to put together a reactant dynamo, which is half of uh, uh, half of the next quest. So I'm going to make a redstone transmission coil. Nice. Got to make a couple of bronze gears. Yeah, if I could do this without <laughs> over the place. There we go. All right. A couple of bronze gears. Uh, I need to make. I uh, made. I made a PRX LX100 myself earlier. I know you stole all my stuff for it. <laughs> uh, I you, you were too slow. I was not too slow. I was preparing. So, Setting up all of the things. Is that that is backwards, isn't it? Yeah, that's backwards. Do, 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 do. There we go. Reactant dynamo. Nice. Uh, all right. Let's see if it auto detected that. It did. So now I just got to go make some invar so that we can make the grinder. Excellent. And then we'll get some mob essence, some gunpowder, and a conveyor belt, which is fantastic. Right, which will help us make a nice little mob trap. Yes. Because the gunpowder and the and the mob essence go into the reactant dynamo to make it powerful. Makes it run, which is where we'll get all of our energy. For at least a little while. For at least a while. Cool. Which is much better than the ender pearls, I think. So should we come back after we have made some invar? Yeah, you make some invar. I'm going to look into making glacial precipitator and see if that's a possibility, because that's the next step after the getting chilly, which now is completed. Can, yeah, now that we have snow, we can do that. Yeah. Cool. So, All right. See you in a few. All right. Okay. And welcome back, everybody. Howdy. We've been doing stuffs. A little bit of stuffs. A little bit of stuffs. I notice in my book, Ramping Up is glowing. It is. I managed to find uh, enough nickel to make mm -hmm. some invar. So I was able to make both the invar sword that the grinder took as well as the, in the invar ingots for the machine frame that the grinder took. So Yay. we claim that reward. We get conveyor belts, gunpowder, and mob essence. It has been claimed. Awesome. Fantastical. Oh, I'm sweating. Let me switch my camel pack out real quick. That's why we have the spare. Okay, and then I've got my stuff I'm ready to make. My Rich. glacial precipitator. Awesome. You're ma making cold stuff. Making cold stuff. So if I go to glacial precipitator, I should be able to, yes, shift and click, and we have a glacial precipitator all ready to go. Awesome. So cool. the iceberg is completed. We can claim that, and we get a high golem. Yeah, I'm a little nervous about spawning that guy. I don't know what that is. Golem says, uh, you know, like iron golem to me. Yeah, that's what I thought too, but I don't know. <laughs> I'm not, not gonna pop him out, you know, just right now. Yeah, no, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna put my guy up safely so I don't accidentally open him up and be whoopsies. In fact, I'm gonna put some of my stuff up real quick. Mm -hmm. uh, the glacial precipitator. I'm gonna go ahead and just stick in my. Kind of the engine -y box, which is up here. Okay. Okay. You guys, I put the the grinder and the dynamo and the. Mm -hmm. Where where are you putting gunpowder mob mob essence? Uh, mob essence, I guess I'll put in the mob box. That makes good sense. Gunpowder would go there too. And where did you want the conveyor belt? Oops, at the top. Uh, probably here in this in this box. The odds and ends. Okay. There you go. Cool. And then we also had some more stuff open up once we got those done. Uh, the only thing I think we have left, really, in the basic survival, maybe the triple play. There may be a couple things after that, uh, which is the high yeah. oven for steelworks. Yeah, we've got to make we've got to make the high oven control. Yeah, the it's, it's yeah the scorch bricks are going to take us a while, so we'll do that in another episode. Yep. But we opened up a couple other branches that we could go down. Technical technological revolution, which you've already started in inadvertently. Yeah, we had to make well. You had to to make a machine frame and an LX100, which we we had to make those uh, to be able to make the the, the grinder and yeah. to make the glacial precipitator. So you've already made all of these. Yeah, so so we can claim that. I would say taking take the invar. Yeah, Electrum is easy to come by. Invar is actually a bit of a challenge right okay. now. Okay, I've claimed nice. that. So we get a machine frame and enough invar to make another machine frame, which is fantastical. Absolutely. Fantastic. So that one's completed. Uh, the MFR basics. I've actually got the stuff to make that. I, in fact, I made the tin upgrade off camera because that's just super easy. 
Awesome. You want to make the sledgehammer? Yeah, and I have all the stuff for the sledgehammer. I just wanted to show it because it's a little unusual. It's actually rubber on top. It's three rubber and two sticks, and you get a precision sledgehammer. Nice. Which is kind of nice. But we can claim that one now. All right. So, we got more rubber, more invar, and another expansion card. Yay. More invar. I'm put the invar in. Directly up. Now we get into the expensive stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Auto energetic confusion, redstone furnace, and pulverizer. Although pulverizer will get us uh, towards using gravel instead of instead of dust for our sifting, which will be nice. Yeah, we also have the basic AE. And yeah, I see where you're looking at the, with the basic machines. Mm -hmm. Auto packager. That's an interesting choice of what we have to make. Yeah, the auto packager will be nice for the for the gravels because they it auto it automatically takes. Things and you know, it'll take four. It'll take four gravels and turn them into a you know a gravel ore block, mm -hmm. or four broken you know four broken ores. Oh, okay, I see. I see what you're saying. Okay, that but will needs be a little handy. bit of power to do that. We can also start down with the planter and harvester and fruit picker. That would be awesome. The green growing things. And then the... Yeah, that's, oh, that's a tough choice. Do we start with the harvester so that we get automatic leaves and automatic foods? I'm leaning towards the basic machines, actually, with the pulverizer. Okay. Because once we get materials built up, the materials will help us build the other machines. Whereas we seem to be doing okay collecting leaves on our own for now. For now. I mean, it'd be nice to, you know, have all of the water ever, but <laughs> we've got 91 buckets. It's not nearly enough. No, it's not, but we'll be okay <laughs> while we work <laughs> on other stuff. If you insist. And then the creating life one, I think, is going to be interesting because it looks like we can get all kinds of eggs. But first we need to collect mob essence. We have we have a single egg. We've got more than a single egg. We get them dusting or sifting for some reason, so yeah. we've got a stack of eggs. And I think... And 10 buckets of mob essence, which means that the next thing we really need to work on, I think, is the mob farm. Yes, I would agree with that. The mob farm and then the, maybe the eggs. Well, the, the mob, yeah, the mob farm will give us the, will give us all of the mob stuffs and will also give us fuel for our power gen and will help us, yeah, help us with a, the, Cobble to gravel conversion. Yes. Which will give us all sorts of other good things, including diamonds and emeralds. And basic AE. And basic AE. So I think that's I think that's probably probably the next step is is the big old mob grinder. Yeah, I would agree with that. Okay. I'm looking at the conversion matrix for the ME chest, just out of curiosity. Everything requires this pneumatic craft logic expansion card. Yeah. So I will be making a lot of those off camera as well. <laughs> we'll we'll do some work. We'll do some work to get those automated. Yes. Yes. Because yeah, that's that's going to be a royal pain. That's a lot. <laughs> well, yeah. I think. Huh? Uh, go ahead. I was just going to say I think we accomplished a lot this episode. We did. This is this is cool. I can see I can see progress. Progress is being made. Yeah. And it's fantastic. It's no longer it's no longer quite a desperate situation, and now it's getting into the oh, we are powerful. <laughs> we are mighty. We are mighty. Conquerors. I'm gonna stop jumping though. Conquerors. <laughs> Conquer it all. <laughs> all right. Conquer it all without starving to death. <laughs> this is this is true. That's a good point. So well, I guess that's a good place to end then. Yeah. So thanks it's everyone just... for watching. Have a good one. Bye. Thank you.